it said 100% fact that you will die in two days. Well, this Oceanside grandmother called Team 10 after she said she turned the tables on overseas scammers and started getting death threats. She told Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance that she's not scared, she's mad. It don't mess with grandma. Someone should have told the scammers. Allison Johnson is holding her newest grandchild, Malachi. She spent the last five years raising Malachi's two sisters. You see a shirt? <laughs> now she's turning things at home over to their mom and ready to get out there and work. I thought I'd be able to find work just like that, but I was wrong. So she hit Craigslist. She found what she thought was the perfect gig. She'd be a nanny for a family moving to San Diego. When I saw the ad. Um, I was very excited. And when I responded and he responded back to me saying, well, you sound perfect. You got the job. The man said they'd send her a check for $2,800. She'd cash it, buy items to set up a family's home, and send him the rest. Then she remembered other Team 10 stories warning her about fake check scams like this. So Johnson turned the tables. She said she cashed the check and would keep the money. I said to him, guess what? The scammer, meaning you, got scammed. How does that feel? Johnson said the scammers started sending her death threats. It said, 100% fact that you will die. She called Oceanside police. They told her it was from scammers overseas. I have to admit it kind of scared me a little bit. Johnson said she's not done contacting the people behind similar ads on Craigslist as well. What I want to do is collect these and decorate my wall with them and to eventually to where someone will listen or someone will get it. I'm Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance. Well, the nanny ad has been taken off Craigslist, but Team 10 found plenty of other ads that appeared to be from scammers. You can report these ads to the FBI. Find the link under the red television button.